Hey guys, Mary Ann Elliott from 360 Mortgage Solutions. So I really wanted to jump on today and have a chat to you about a common situation that I'm seeing with the market at the moment. Now, if you haven't heard, the market is moving very quickly and it is increasing at the moment. So there's been some, I know of some record prices in particular streets in this area in, of Shaler Park, but not just Shaler Park. It seems to be all over the countryside. Even small towns and um, further out you go are still reaching record prices. So I've got quite a few clients who are at the stage where they're ready to maybe take the step up into their next big property um, or upgrade, if you like, into their next property. And the catch can be is whilst they're going to make some really potentially really good money on their current property, there could be a bit of a limbo or a lag between once they've sold that property before they find their new property that they want to buy. Now, here's the risk. If you sell your current property in this market and you can't find your new property that you want to buy within a period of time and the property prices continue to increase, you could find yourself priced out of the market or having to come up with more deposit or pay more than what you were originally willing to to get that next property. Now, that's a risk. The other thing that could happen is property prices might start to go down. So if you were to sell in the high market and buy when it's starting to go down, then that would be fantastic. The problem is no one has a crystal ball. So you're really taking a bit of a gamble whichever way you do it. There are a few options for you though. So one could be that you might sign a contract on your new home subject to the sale of your current property. So that's saying to the vendor, I am going to buy this house providing I can sell my house. Now look, in the current market, that's potentially not a clause that you really want to be putting on a contract, especially when you know, there's quite a demand for property, so people are getting outbidded. You really want your offer to look as good as it possibly can, but that's still an option for you to consider. There are some other options as well. So if you can afford to, you might look at keeping the current property as an investment property and then purchasing the next property. The reason I like this idea is it means you can hold on to that property and either keep it as an investment property if it works and your accountant is someone that you would need to talk to to decide whether that works. But you could also look at selling it at your own pace. So it means that you're not forced to sell it within a certain period of time and you can sell it at your own leisure. The other option that you can look at is called a bridging loan. So a bridging loan is where effectively the bank will lend you the money to make the new purchase and then give you six to 12 months, depending on the lender, to hurry and sell your current property. So whilst, yes, you're then on a time frame, which is not ideal, it does mean that you can snap that new property and know that you've still kept your money in the market and you're not pushed out of the market at any point. So I guess the structure and what's right for you depends on so many different factors. So I would probably say the best thing to do if you're starting to think about the next property is to book a time with me. You can book a Zoom appointment, which is absolutely free, where you can we can nut out your current situation and look at what options would suit you best and try and prepare you as best as possible to hit the ground running with your next property. So if you've got any questions, you're welcome to, like I said, book an appointment, pop a comment in below, or just give me a phone call. Um, but otherwise, guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. And um, for anyone who has property at the moment, it's very exciting because it means that potentially your property is increasing in value week on, week on. If you don't have a property yet and you're wanting to get into the market, it could be a bit scary. Um, so don't forget that you can absolutely touch base with me to talk about getting a pre-approval so you can start making confident offers. So that's it for me, guys. Have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon.